Hi, I'm Paul Shurko with AWB Engineers. This is our current project that is located in Atlanta, Georgia. This is an existing building that was built for warehouse activities. The building is located in a business park and needs to meet covenant requirements of that business park and all of the aesthetics related with it. Our task was to take this building and design this facility to be able to introduce food processing. The existing warehouse construction cannot be used for food processing facility without necessary modifications in order to meet USDA requirements and provide proper cleanliness necessary for food processing facilities. In the current construction business and a counter economy business, we see more and more uh, customers utilizing the existing dry warehouse buildings and trying to turn them into food processing facilities. Typically, dry warehouse facilities are built at lower uh, capacities for the roof. The floors don't meet food processing requirements from water slope to the drains and potential frost protection in freezers. We are hired to help our customers to turn those buildings into the facility that will be USDA compliant, but it will also provide all thermal requirements, all cleanness requirements, and air refrigeration system is one of the most important aspects of uh, changing a typical dry warehouse into food processing facility. In this project, we had to design a dedicated steel structure for the hygienic units or CPA units that are going to serve the food processing area. The reason we had to do this is because the roof seal structure designed for a typical dry warehouse does not have the additional capacity to allow hygienic units, CPA units to be installed on the roof. This project, as all other meat processing facility, requires refrigerated duct. The existing duct and duct doors should not be used for refrigerated duct. For the new process we have designed, new duct doors, new levelers and seals in order to provide better maintenance, easier and safer cleaning and proper thermal elements of the building envelope. Based on our experience, we see that utilities are a very important aspect for changing typical dry warehouse into a food processing facilities. For this project, the electrical system and the water system was not sufficient. We had to design a new service coming to the building, new transformer and a switch gear and all of the sap panels and electrical system. We also had to upgrade domestic water service to the building and we had to upgrade the process waste in order to meet USDA requirements. Most of the food processing facilities require refrigerated spaces. The original building construction cannot provide thermal envelope. We had to design a box in a box. What it means is that we had to remove the floors and pour new floors or design new floors for that facility with incorporating insulated walls and insulated ceilings. We were basically creating an insulated box inside a dry warehouse. You can see here that the existing floor was demoed. In order to provide proper facility for this type of process, the existing floor had to be demoed because it was not sloped and did not have any drain. The new floor is going to incorporate sloped into floor drains that meet USDA requirements. In the freezer area, we have provided mud slab frost protection in order to avoid any freezing under the floor and heaving the floor up. The walls and ceilings have stainless steel finish or a very special coating in order to withstand caustic and under pressure cleanliness requirements. In order to keep cleanliness inside the spaces, most of the utilities are routed above the ceiling and then are dropped into the space vertically in order to minimize any horizontal surfaces that would allow any dust or any uh, dirt to settle on it. 
Anywhere in this facility where the forklift traffic is going to be, the IMP walls are protected by sloped concrete curbs, sometimes also covered with stainless steel. Many customers is trying to utilize dry warehouse spaces or typical commercial construction facilities for their future processing facilities. With our experience in those projects, we see multiple items that are very, very critical to be considered from the beginning. One of the first critical items is the steel structure. Many facilities does not have enough capacity in order to incorporate food processing facility. Of course, there are solutions. Another aspect is the floor. If the floor doesn't have drains, if it's not sloped, it will have to be uh, demoed and redone for food processing facility. And the last but not least are utilities. We always need to consider the existing utilities in the facility to make sure that they are sufficient or if they are not, what needs to be done in order to change this building into a properly operating food processing facility.